Okay, I switch back to my PowerPoint because I think the highlighters work better on the PowerPoint. Um, all right, decide whether the following argument is valid or invalid and give the form that applies. Now, since they're asking me to give the form, I do not have to do a truth table because it's going to be one of the forms that are on your handout. So, we are going to start with... Um, a smaller size. Okay, I've got if and then. So that is going to be an arrow. Oh, that's way too big. That's your arrow for the if then. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to let the band plays be the letter P. So if P. Then I'm going to let the people are happy be represented by Q. So that first premise is if P, then Q. The next premise says the band does not play. Now the words the band plays is the letter P, however, we are putting a does not in there. And a does not means it's a negation. And then of course you've got this line here, which separates them. And then it ends with the people are not happy. Now remember, the people are happy is the letter Q. But because you have a not in there, it is that. And so I'm going to pull up my, where is it? Here's the truth table thingy, the handout, okay. And I'm going to try to match this with, which one is it? We're looking for if P, then Q, negation of P, then negation of Q. It's down here. It's this one. See it? If P, then Q, negation of P, therefore negation of Q. So fallacy of the inverse. So I'm gonna click on fallacy of the inverse. It's gonna be that one. And since it's a fallacy, that's not a valid argument. The fallacies are invalid, the laws are valid. So that is number one.